So it's been announced last week that Shannon Sharp would first of all take Club Shay Shay to the volume and then that he would also join Stephen A. Smith on first take every Mondays and Tuesdays, so twice a week. Um, and that the, the, the official debut for Shannon Sharp would be next week uh, to cover football, right? But that doesn't mean that the two gentlemen have not already been in the lab cooking. In fact, uh, uh, Shannon Sharp took to Club Shay Shay in the first episode of his new season um, and uh, the first episode of his edition of Club Shay Shay on the volume will feature Stephen A. Smith and is scheduled to drop, I believe, today, later, you know. So one of the topics that they were able to tackle was obviously the new moves, Shannon Sharp's edition, and none of her that skip it is. So before I actually get from this article from the big lead, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. So I, so I quote, no matter how problematic, and it can be problematic at times, the reality is that I wouldn't be here where I am today if it didn't give me that opportunity on first take. So for me to be where I am and to know that it springs boards off of something that he was directly involved in making happen, for me to insult him in any way is just disrespectful, it's wrong, and it's something that I will never do. Then Shannon Sharp says, For me, I cannot let six months run six and a half good years. Because sometimes people are willing to throw everything away for one mistake, one bad comment, or one something like that. So that was Shannon talking about Skip Bayless with uh, obviously Stephen A. And then they closed Stephen A saying, listen, I got a lot of friends over there. All right, we all know that. I know a lot of people, but that doesn't mean what happened to you is fair. Plain and simple. That ain't the end of the world, but it is what it is. To me, it was just important for us in this industry to stand up and say, yo, is one of us. You can't let him go out like this. And that's what it was for me. You can go wherever you want. You can come to first take, fine. You want to go somewhere else, fine. And I end the quote because they discuss a lot of other topics, right? But this is what's relevant right there. So the skip talk. So obviously they showed some respect. Uh, I didn't expect for these two gentlemen to go out there on, on the podcast and just shit on Skip Bayless. Both of them have mentioned uh, a lot of times the appreciation that they have for Skip Bayless to put these guys in positions to blossom into superstars of their own. In my opinion, two bigger superstars than Skip Bayless through a platform that they share with the guy. So they just wouldn't go out there and shit on him. However, it was interesting for me to hear that Stephen A. Smith said that um, he felt that Shannon Sharp got done wrong. And uh, by done wrong, it can mean two things. Either he feels... Uh, that Shannon Sharp get disrespected with uh, the, um, the Hamlin situation and with the shots on live TV, uh, Skip Bayless saying that Tom Brady was better than him and then proceeding to tell him to put his glasses back on. Maybe that's what he meant by got done wrong. Or he meant he got done wrong, meaning um, if you remember, Shannon Sharp was bought out. And uh, I made a video, I want to say three months ago, when Stephen A. Smith kind of suggested, he didn't all the way say it, but this is the way I took it, that Skip Bayless was the one that wanted Shannon Sharp off the show. That basically, you, you do not walk away from that platform, that much money, something that was working uh, so great for you for six years, unless you are kind of forced to. And that, in, in quote, he said that he knew Skip and that after Shannon Sharp came on TV, after not showing up to work uh, over Dar uh, Darwin Hamlin and then making that, you know, that little monologue, the uh, Skip Bayless was so annoyed by, he couldn't even let Shannon go through the monologue, that it broke something forever. And that after that, knowing Skip, it was done. So maybe this is what he meant by the fact that Shannon Sharp got done wrong. And if that's the case, man, that's just more proof than Skip Bayless just pretty much sabotage his own show because right now he's trying to figure it out with a new crew. Uh, I'm not one of these guys who are writing the show off uh, because it's a lot of that happening on the internet right now. I think the show got great potential, in my opinion, uh, for a lot, a lot of viral content. You just got to give these times to, uh, these guys sorry, the time to figure it out and to mesh. It's been less than one week. Rachel Nichols just made her debut. Emmanuel Acho just made his debut, you know. So it's still a lot of going on right there for, for me to go out there and judge the show. But still, I don't think that this will um, reach the same level of entertainment, analysis, viral moments, cultural moments that the Shannon Shop was able to bring 
to the show in my opinion so that's kind of a waste so anyways uh we might do more content surrounding this episode of uh, club shay shay with Stephen a smith and china shop once the official uh podcast actually drops so that would be probably tomorrow for me uh, because i'm not in the u.s but yeah, in the meantime, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you guys for checking me out. Get in the comment section and talk to me, man. Do you believe that Shannon Sharp was indeed done wrong? What do you believe um, that actually pushed Shannon Sharp out? Do you believe that he was the one that actually went to the bosses and say, I want to be bought out? Or do you actually believe that Skip Bayless was the one who pretty much orchestrated the buyout? And yeah, appreciate you guys for checking me out. See you guys later. Peace.